In this example, we're going to use Applac Transient to look at a circuit in more detail than we probably could by using harmonic balance alone. We're going to look at this multiplier circuit, which I have here, and essentially we've decomposed the design into two fundamental parts. Uh, this, the uh, latter part is a 400 megahertz filter, which is going to pick out uh, the signal that we would like, a 400 megahertz signal, from a comb generator. The comb generator here, the topology we're using, is shown here. Uh, the critical component in the comb generator is the SRD or step recovery diode. Uh, this element, as you may be aware, is highly nonlinear and sometimes can be very difficult to simulate in harmonic balance. We'll go that in, into that in a little bit more detail later in the simulation, but let's start off by uh, simply looking at the performance, the nominal performance that we get here. Um, we can look at the spectra and see the difference between the comb generator and the um, uh, the multiplier as a whole with the 400 megahertz filter. So here in blue, we have what comes out of the comb generator, which is a fairly broad frequency spectrum, but the 400 megahertz filter just selects for the most part that one signal. If we go and look at the waveforms, we can see that from the harmonic balance analysis using the microwave office HB simulator, we get uh, a rather regular performance here that we would expect uh, from the comb generator. Um, we can very easily go and switch to the Applac harmonic balance solver simply by bringing up the measurement and changing the simulator source from harmonic balance to Applac harmonic balance and then re-simulating. And we can see that the performance really hasn't changed all that much. It's nearly identical to what we had with Microwave Office, but that's really not the whole picture because as I mentioned, and as you know, the SRD is a very, very nonlinear device and uh, has transient properties that don't come out in the steady state harmonic balance analysis. So simply by changing the measurement source from Applac HB to Applac Transient, we can look at what some of these properties are. We can see in fact that there is quite a bit of startup transient that gets uh, lost in the steady state nonlinear harmonic balance solution, which primarily looks at uh, where the device is operating in uh, a rather regular fashion, rather than where it's actually charging up and the circuit has the capacitances and inductances which need to reach uh, a steady state as well as the device itself. Uh, we can compare this to the um, time expanded harmonic balance results. And all I've done here is create an output equation which allows us to take the harmonic balance performance and uh, repeat it over and over again across the same uh, time span that we have in the um, transient analysis. And we'll zoom in on the data and you can see some of the time differences that occur. Here we can see that the uh, transient analysis with the SRD uh, is taking some time to relax down to the steady state performance as a whole. In fact, um, the nice thing about the transient analysis, especially with an SRD, is that we can actually push the performance to such an extreme that the harmonic balance can't converge. The way we can do this is by going into the SRD model itself and changing the storage time. Here we have an ideal storage time of, uh, of zero nanoseconds, which gets uh, converted into essentially an infinite um, recombination time, which means that we have ideal conductance when the a diode is releasing its charge. If we change this to something realistic like one nanosecond and we try to re-simulate the circuit, we'll find that we'll get less than ideal performance. And in fact, the harmonic balance won't converge and the transient takes roughly the same time. We'll restore our axes here. We can see that in fact, we don't get the harmonic balance solution because it's unable to converge with that highly nonlinear performance, but we can see that the transient analysis works just fine. Uh, SRDs are very complex devices. Pin diodes would be another example where as microwave designers, we've traditionally used harmonic balance simulation, but could really benefit by doing some transient analysis to see these effects. Uh, if you'd like to learn more about Applac Transient or about some of the capability I've shown in this example, contact your AWR account representative or go to awrcorp.com.